Hello, everyone. I'm Tanya Rivero. Thank you for joining us. Two key witnesses in the House impeachment inquiry were removed from their posts Friday. That includes Gordon Sondland, who announced his departure Friday evening. The U.S. ambassador to the European Union was one of several administration officials who testified before Congress. He implicated President Trump in a quid pro quo scheme to pressure Ukraine during his testimony. Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman is also out. He served on the National Security Council at the White House. Paula Reed reminds us what the Ukraine expert told Congress. Lieutenant Colonel Alexander Vindman was escorted out of the White House today, his lawyer said, just hours after President Trump revealed he still holds a grudge against the star impeachment witness. Well, I'm not happy with him. You think I'm supposed to be happy with him? I'm not. In a statement, Vindman's lawyer said the truth has cost Vindman his job, his career, and his privacy. The legal team also said Vindman's twin brother, Yevgeny, a National Security Council lawyer, was also escorted out of the White House today. Vindman, a Purple Heart recipient and Iraq War veteran, is still on active duty and was assigned to the NSC. He was due to leave this July. Do you swear or In November, he testified about, about listening Trump. in on the call where Mr. Thank Trump you. asked the president of Ukraine to investigate Joe Biden and his son. It was improper for the president to request and to demand an investigation into a political opponent. opponent. Vindman will now return to the Pentagon for reassignment. And Defense Secretary Mark Esper said he will be welcomed back. We protect all of our persons, uh, service members from, from retribution or anything, anything like that. Reuters White House correspondent Jeff Mason joins me now on the phone. Hi, Jeff. So how is the White House defending these departures? Because considering the timing, I don't think many observers will look at this and say it's got to be about policy, right? No, I don't, I don't think anybody thinks it's about policy. But to your question, how they're defending it, the truth is they're not commenting on it. The NSC earlier today, in response to the departure of the Vindman, said that they would not comment on uh, a personnel matter, but it's very clear uh, what's going on. And now with the latest news that uh, the U.S. ambassador to the EU, yeah, Sondland, is also has also been asked uh, to resign. Uh, there's 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 no ambiguity about what's going on here. There is uh, an effort by the president to get rid of the people who testified against him in the impeachment hearings. And the president and the president then is clearly not worried about the optics. In fact, it almost seems as if he's inviting that conclusion. No, I don't think he's worried about the optics at all. I think, you know, when, when people said earlier this week that he would come away from acquittal feeling emboldened, they may see some evidence in the activity today. So do we know then if either Sondland or Vindman has any legal recourse? I mean, obviously, Son Sondland was an ambassador serving at the pleasure of the president. Uh, Vindman, I'm not as familiar with his situation. Is there any legal recourse to these dismissals? Well, I'm not an expert on that, but my impression, at least from having spoken to some people over here, uh, is that is no. And uh, but but again, I'm I'm far from the person who would be the best uh, resource on that. I guess the reason um, that I have heard in in these circles is that you know these people, particularly the ambassadors you just said, uh, serve at the pleasure of the president. And uh, Colonel Lieutenant Colonel Vidman was also uh, in his being detailed to the White House, a member of the executive office of the president's staff, again, also at the pleasure of the president. Now, what specifically it means for him in terms of his options of going back to a posting uh, at DOD, that, that seems like another question. Um, but no doubt, you know, the, the questions about whether they have legal recourse will, will continue to be asked. And, and Jeff, should we expect even more departures? Is the president just getting warmed up here? Well, I, I I don't know the answer to that, but it, you would you would think perhaps from uh, what's happened today that this might not be the end. All right. Well, Jeff Mason, thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure.